we've got everything straight as, uh, as I can possibly get it. Everything beyond here. She's a piece of the model blue open. And there's uh, some Tide Bond. Uh, what is this one? Tide Bond 2? Two? 2. Tide Bond 2. So, don't want to overdo it on the blue, but don't want to underdo it, that's for sure. So, we'll just uh, play that nice here. here um, I made a line down the guitar uh, this seam line I really wanted to be dead centered on the center line of the guitar um, but when I find that center line uh, I have to come back here at an angle and some other things and as much as I want that to happen I think I'd rather have a really nice joint here with a good book match then have it um, be centered and the way the sanding all worked out um, I guess I may have taken just a little extra off here than I should have whatever it is what it is it's still gonna look sweet as hell um, but I think I'm gonna glue and clamp this in place before I get all the routes made over here and the reason is um, I'm going to have to coordinate routes in this piece and in this piece and if I'm able to stick this, you know, make holes in this and then stick it in the same place every time, you know, locate it, using this to locate it, I think I'll be better off. So I may regret this decision, but I think I'm going to glue this piece down so I have a benchmark to go from.
we let this dry overnight. Let's see what we got. I'd say that is well indexed. Sweet. I'm an eighth of an inch too high on this top. I don't know why I didn't check that before I glued that thing down, but uh, I put the bridge on and was measuring what string height would be and that sort of thing, and it was just way too high. So I've got to carve this entire body down about an eighth of an inch. Uh, hopefully we can save this piece. Keep your fingers crossed. I did uh, work on the retractable strap button uh, yesterday and I have it, it's hard to show, but I have it so that it will retract and pop out and this is my strap lock so it uh, it pops on there like that so it all works but what I don't like is it's probably it's a little bit wobblier than I wanted to but the cool news is uh, with these strap locks there's plenty of room uh, really this doesn't have to be mounted let's call it on the outside surface of the guitar it can be recessed in just a little bit and still function so what I'm gonna do is in the neck where the the side of the neck I am gonna carve out a little bit of a recess just enough for this to sit uh, but it'll be behind the top cap so you won't see it from the front you'll just see it from the side uh, and I think that's gonna work out better than this this works pretty slick uh, it just you can see that it kinda moves around and I just, I don't know, I have a fear that will rattle. It probably won't. It'll probably be just fine. But, uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I've now got a couple boards that are of equal thickness. Uh, and just slightly higher than the fretboard there. Just a tick. So that I can set it down, let's see here, on the old uh, router face down. And uh, route out the eighth of an inch that I need. I stayed away intentionally from the edges here uh, thinking that if I can get the edges really clean and the middle parts really clean I can clean up where these two braces are and nobody will ever see it. There we go, that's what's uh, left of her. So I gotta clean this up and clean this up. If I had a card scraper, now would be the time to use it, but I don't. So I'll use a plane and clean this all up. Well, it took me a minute to get back to uh, here, but now if I set the old ruler on the bridge, um, I'm almost touching the fretboard with the ruler. It's maybe like 30 second or something below where the string would be, you know, so if I just set the ruler on the fretboard, it hits the bridge about a 30 second of an inch up the bridge, uh, which means, you know, by the time you get the frets in there and everything else, we're we're well over where we need to be and then I set a little chunk of diamond plate in there just to see where the the pickup uh, minimum level would be and so we're we're totally fine well within tolerance now uh, what a pain in the rear but I'm really really glad I did it and in fact uh, I went ahead and rejointed this edge uh, regapped over here and I like it a hell of a lot better now uh, essentially what I did was I made sure that this seam is down the exact middle of the neck. So this is going to be super, super professional now uh, versus uh, it's a little bit off. 
So it should be pretty kick-ass <laughs> that all this stuff lines up now. So that is not easy. I think uh, we've got about four hours invested in uh, removing this, sanding or routing and sanding and planing and finishing and jointing this back up. But I'm going to re-glue it. I won't uh, bore you with that one. But we'll come back another day. So that's it for now. Time to work on the oven for my wife. Don't let you move low.